Good evening, everybody. Uh, my name is Omar Jaroon, and I am a general studies major in the arts and science department. Um, for this paper, I have chosen to discuss and explore the constraints of diplomacy when action is possible. And I chose two uh, diplomats. One is an American, uh, Henry Morgenthau. He was appointed to the Ottoman Empire by President Woodrow Wilson during the First World War. And he was unable to use information he was given, uh, information he was receiving through first-hand witnesses, through other Americans in, in the Ottoman Empire about what was going on against the Armenians. And he was unable to take action. Uh, he tried to persuade the American government, the, the Wilson administration, to take action, but their stance was to stay out of World War I. So this diplomat was very restricted, uh, and, and in essence, he ended up quitting because he couldn't get an, anything accomplished, and what he was witnessing on a day-to-day -day basis, I'm sure, was uh, horrible. And I'm comparing him with another diplomat. This is a Japan general consul. Uh, I'm assuming it's similar to just an American diplomat uh, representative. He studied his whole life. This man is named uh, Shinu Sugihara, and his whole life was to study the Soviet Union and to learn everything about the Soviet Union when he grew up. This is what he educated himself in. He was fluent in Russian, and then the, U, uh, the J Japanese government sent him to Lithuania. And his main role in Lithuania was to relay information back to Japan about the, the Soviet Union movement and the Nazi army movement. Uh, Japan was an ally to the Germans, uh, their buddies, uh, supposedly. So he goes into Lithuania. Uh, the Nazis invade Poland. Everybody in Poland tries to flee to Lithuania, thinking they could seek refuge there and see out the war. Uh, it turns out very quickly. Uh, Sugihara realizes that the, the Nazis and their final solution is going to wipe all of these Jewish people out of uh, Europe. And he decides to give them travel visas. And he saves uh, over 10,000 Jews by uh, issuing them transit visas through uh, Japan. They travel through the Soviet Union and they will stay in Japan supposedly for 10 days. Um, and then they trans transfer off to, say, United States, Canada, uh, Palestine uh, for refuge uh, away from the slaughter. So this diplomat was able to use the sensitive information he was receiving on the troop movements from the Germans and the Soviet Union, and he uh, used his power, his privileged status, to take action. Um, so in my paper, uh, I, dis I discuss how diplomats can take action, uh, how they're restricted, um, sovereign countries... Uh, sovereign nations, the ability to do as they please inside of the country uh, with their people and what does a diplomat, uh, what is his role when he goes to another country to play nice guy, to push buttons, um, you know, and that is what I'll discuss. Um, why studying response to genocide important? I believe we have to study the response to genocide so we can learn and save more lives. Obviously, we've realized national interest is a big thing when superpowers need to get involved in other countries' business. And if the national interest or public opinion is aroused, uh, then action can take place. And what we're learning from the genocide over the past hundred years uh, is that action must, be t it must take place from an outside source. Um, I believe what we're going to learn from my paper is that action can take place um, from diplomats who are receiving information that other normal citizens aren't, and they have the ability to take action in some shape or form, and I believe in my paper that I'll show uh, from what Sugihara did, uh, it was enough, and he saved, he saved enough lives, um, so it's possible for action to happen. Um, and for what we can predict for the national community in the future is that um, they will, people do care. It's on television now. Uh, everything is recorded when events happen, such as in Bosnia. Internationally, it's becoming more of a system, a setup 
that response is better. And I hope uh, in future situations such as uh, what's going on with, with the Syrian refugees, uh, we have to be able to give these people a chance at life. And I think that's what uh, life's about, uh, humanity, and, and to give people a fair chance. And so um, hopefully diplomats who are abroad uh, will be able to take action. So that is what my paper is about, and uh, I've really enjoyed doing what I've done so far on it. Thanks so much.